Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got some products to show you. I was sent several items from Madame Glam. Catherine from Madame Glam got in touch with me and asked if I would like to review some products. And I told her, yes, I sure would. Um, today, I'm just going to show you what I got, and I'm going to do, uh, you know, just a manicure with one of the products, and then I will do other other videos for uh, reviewing and demoing the other products. So I'm going to start off with the one I am going to play with today. And this is a Madame Clam Soak Off Gel Polish. It's a 15 ml bottle. And here is, let me see if I can get this under here. Here's the beautiful color dot on the top. So I will be doing a manicure with this today. Beautiful, beautiful polish. And then she sent me some of this 3D gel um, nail art stuff that we will definitely play with and this one is in the shade cake so that's very interesting I've never played with these so I'm really excited about that and then she sent me two of the chrome powders um, the chrome pigment powders and let me see if I can turn these around this one is Dracy D-R-A-C-I Dracy and um, it looks like it's going to be very purpley pink blue shimmery. Um, I'm really, really excited about playing with that. And then here's the other one. It's more green gold. Um, and it is Balans. B-O-L-A-N-S. So we will definitely be doing more playing with these other products. So I have gotten my nails cleaned off and I have applied two layers of the Peel Ease from IMK. And I will leave a link for Madam Clam down below for these products and also a link for the PLEs. But um, I, I don't do gel polish as much, so I, I definitely wanted to make sure I could get these off later. So I'm going to uh, get everything ready and we'll get started on this demo. I'll be right back. And we're going to go in with our first coat of this beautiful Madame Glam polish and I'm doing a rather thin layer. I have found for me um, when playing with gel polish I'm better off to do very thin layers. Um, it's just it's just how I do it. Um, it's rather you know sheer but like I said I'm doing a very thin coat so um, you know if, if thicker coats work for you then you know this this might even could be a one coater, but I am just really loving it. It's got a great formula, and the thing I love most about gel polishes is that you've got plenty of time to work on it. You don't have to be in a rush. If if you get something on there and you don't really like it, you can wipe it off and start over, or if you get an area that you feel like it's not looking right, you can keep messing with it before you cure it. The other thing I love about gel polish is you can, you know, put this on, cure it, put your top coat on, cure it. You can wear it like that for a day or two and then later do some nail art and then just top it with a regular quick dry top coat. And when you get tired of it, you can, you know, take it off and take just the nail art off and put something else on over it. So like I just showed you on there, I did run that through. I did the one coat on all the fingernails. I did my cleanup because you definitely want to get that stuff off of your skin before you run it through the cure lamp. Now if you're using um, an LED lamp it only takes about 30 seconds to cure it but if you're using um, a UV lamp you're going to want to cure it for at least a minute maybe two minutes depending on your lamp and the power of it. Also, also, I want to remind you when you're playing with gel polish, just like with regular polish, you do want to cap your tips because that will help with lifting later. You, um, if you cap those tips on your fingernails, then the gel polish manicure will probably last a lot longer that way. So you can see that second coat built that up really beautifully. And I am going in and doing the same. I'm cleaning it all up. go. I'm going to top it with some of this Elite 99 No White Top Coat. It's the only gel polish top coat that I have. Um, and, you know, it's a huge bottle and as much as I use gel, that's just what I'm going to be using until I need more. Um, but just like with the colored polish, you want to be very careful not to get it on your skin. And, you know, do your cleanup just like you would if you were doing those colors. 
it's a little harder to see with it being clear, but you're going to want to take the time to do that, I can guarantee you. I love, love this polish. Look how sparkly pretty it is. It's like a beautiful plum color. Here we go with the last one. Now I am going to show you some nail art on this here when, in just a little bit when I get this part of the manicure done. I guess I'm talking about the things that I love also about gel polish. You know, I told you the other couple of things. One of the main things is being able to, you know, just go on about your business and go do whatever you want because you're not going to mess up your polish after it's been cured. That's awesome. Now for my top coat, I do 30 seconds under my um, LED light. And here's a swatch photo of it all on its own. I'll be using XY, I can't, I don't have to put it in the thing, and Beauty Big Bang's 011 Gold Stampin' Polish, my big clear stamper and my clear jelly scraper. I will have to write in the in the window what, what that plate number is. It just went by too quick. I did take a pen and kind of draw down in it so that you could see the number. And these plates are a little tricky. You kind of got to pick them up and get them to catch the light so you can find the images and see them well. But I really do love that they don't put glare on the camera while I'm filming. That was my main reason for buying them. But I love these images. They come out real crisp really nice. I've been real pleased with these plates. Sandy and Nikki um, Twins Rock, they both assured me I would love these and they were totally right. There we go. So I'm just kind of bebopping around this plate. I'm using two different images. I've done um, the same image on my ring finger and my thumb and then a different image on my pinky, middle, and pointer finger. I just kind of mixed it up a little bit. But I really, really do like this. I think it turned out really cute. And like I said, with gel polish, you know, I could take this stamping off the next day using non-acetone nail polish, just wipe off that top coat and that stamping, and then put something else on it. And I really like that. That's really nice. So there we go. We've got that stamping done. Now, I didn't have any luck with the tape trick, and I don't know if it's because I was taking longer to do this. So I'm having to clean this up with acetone and my cleanup brush. And it's really not that bad of a mess, so it wasn't really a problem. Look at that noise. I'm topping this one off with Posh Top Coat. Seal that stamping in. And ta-da gonna have to break Woody out. There we go. I knew he'd make a visit. He always does. And get some of that excess top coat from flooding around my cuticles. And here is my swatch photo with nail art. I hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.